So when it comes to TikTok trends, make sure you guys take this with a grain of salt. Don't try everything that's out there. Like sunscreen contouring. Don't sunscreen contour. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. My name's Amy, I'm Adore's senior editor. And I'm Sadaf, a content producer. Today, we are talking about drum roll please, TikTok beauty trends. So we saw lip basting um, on Dr. Shireen Idris's Instagram. So she's a famous dermatologist who lives in America. So she starts with putting a chemical exfoliant on your lips and then following up with something really hydrating um, and occlusive. And it's just good for when you have really dry cracked lips, which is me in winter. Yes. And the idea is it's a way to prep the lips before you're going to apply your lip gloss or your lip liner. I personally have never basted a chicken or like <laughs> a thing before, but what I've seen from the movies is you're literally like coating something in moisture to really make sure that it's nice and juicy. So we're going to do the same thing with our lips. You need an exfoliating serum and also an occlusive kind of thick moisturizer. And I've got the Boost Lab AHA Glow Resurfacing Serum and the Walita Skin Food. And I've got the ASAP um, Glycolic Acid and the La Roche-Posay Cicoblast. Shall we baste? We shall baste. So first step is applying your chemical exfoliant. You can use your mirror if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna go blindly. Okay. All right, Crazy. I'm gonna use my mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna go Ooh. just get it on there. Mm -hmm. Your serum. I mean, nice. feels like a serum. Oh, I'm getting a tiny Tingle? bit of tingling. Oh. They're not burning. So <laughs> if you do this and your lips are burning, please stop. stop. <laughs> it's meant to chomp away at the dead skin cells to reveal smoother lips. You put the really thick <laughs> cream on and, um, and then you just let it sit there. You finish the rest of your makeup and by the time you're done, Theoretically, it will have all absorbed in and you're ready to do your lips. You're rocking like the 90s concealer <laughs> lipstick trend. Oh, triggered. Um, <laughs> it actually feels really so nice and silky. I'm getting some really interesting tastes. Mm. Oh my God. Um, so now we're basting and we're going to just <laughs> let our lips baste while we try the second trend, which is... Our Hoyle as a anti-frizz hack. On TikTok, I've been seeing these videos everywhere. Basically, people are using a square bit of our Hoyle and running it over their hair and allegedly, something to do with the staticness and whatever, uh. it smooths down flyaways. Both of us are quite... Frizz prone? Yes, <laughs> frizz prone, frizzy gals. So I was keen to try. I've just got some lovely... Cole's brand, <laughs> you know, whatever you've got at home. One bit for you, Ooh. one bit for me. So we, so we don't have a mirror, so we're just gonna rely on you, Maddie, to tell us if it's working. Yep. All right, let's do All it. Right, let's go. <laughs> I think you need to do it with, um, like you need to press down and have like a bit of tension too. So kind of like when you're straightening your hair, you're like falling uh, it down. Okay, yeah. So, Feels like a head massage. A bit weird. <laughs> I oh yeah, it kind of did work. I feel like that did kind of work. That is working better when you like. When you fold it up. Ah, okay. So when we go like this, I think I'd probably still use a. Oh. <laughs> that really. I feel like. Hang on. I feel like. Can you go again? Because no, I almost but... feel like the hair is actually sticking. <laughs> To the foil and coming out more. Okay. Okay, this is having the absolute opposite effect on Sadaf's hair. When you go to the science center and you put your hands on the globe and it's like, <laughs> jury's kind of out. On it works the... for some, not for others. But it, ma it might just be the most affordable hairstyling hack I've ever seen, regardless of whether it works. It's time to wipe off our lip basting because our third TikTok trend is actually a product. Uh, wipe my base off. <laughs> it feels really soft. Yeah, my lips feel a bit more supple. I feel like if I did that like every night before bed, it would help a little yes. bit with dry trap lips. Exactly, yeah. My lips are feeling super smooth, mm. but the real test will be when we apply the lip product. The third trend we're doing today is the Black Honey Clinique Almost Lipstick. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, I saw this everywhere when yeah. it first launched. It's supposed to suit 
every skin tone. We wanted to show you like IRL in real time so you can see how the color looks on two different skin tones and our natural lip colors are also very different. Mm. I like to describe my natural lip color as corpse or <laughs> um, dead body. Mine are naturally a bit darker so I tend to stay away from colors that look like this because I think oh my gosh it's going to deposit like a really dark color and that's just not the life for me. So without further ado let's see what this color looks like. First thing is that it's very much I think a lip balm. Yeah. So, I mean, the name is like almost lipstick. Yeah, it feels really balmy and it's like quite silky. Mm. In terms of the color, how are you? How are you finding it? Yeah, so this is like one and a half coats, I'd say, but I wore it last week um, when we went to Fashion Week. Mm. You can see our vlog here. <laughs> and um, it gave like a really light berry color, as you can see, which I like, or as you described, red wine, like stain. Mm. And I don't usually like berry colors. I think they're too dark and don't suit me, but I quite like this. Mm. Yeah, on yours it looks more glossy. So I've done about 15 coats this is like my perfect everyday oh. my lips but better color yeah like I feel like my lips should naturally be this color yeah to match my hair that's just mm. how I feel I think if I go another one maybe for nighttime it'll go deeper but I think for my skin tone one and a half is enough but I love that I think it's quite natural mm. if someone with my skin tone wanted to try like a berry red wineish balm this is perfect yeah. and it looks really different on both of us yeah. like if we Mads do you want to do a close-up of our lips <laughs> it does look a bit different so you can see like how the color can suit both our different skin tones and lip colors mm. but I didn't find it as hydrating as maybe other right. dedicated lip balms okay I just wanted to sorry just also test to see Okay, guys, we have some we have some live <laughs> some breaking future. news. <laughs> breaking news! You can use this as a blush. Oh, I like it as a blush too. Oh I love gosh. this tone on you. I really never thought I could wear this tone. I feel like this is this is an excellent example of why you should still try things that you yeah. have always thought would never suit you. Um, give it a go because at the end of the day, it's just makeup. Sorry. Wash it off. Trend number four is hand slugging. You might have heard of slugging for the face, which involves applying your hydrating products and then sealing it in with petroleum jelly, mm -hmm. Vaseline. I personally wouldn't do slugging at home just because... Sticky. Yes, yeah, sticky and also it might make you break out. Mm. But I actually saw a beauty editor from Refinery29 try the hand slugging version, which essentially takes the same steps that people do on their face, but mm -hmm. doing it for dry, crusty winter mitt. So the products you need for this are one. Step one is a hydrating serum. I've just chosen the Harder Labo Super Hyaluronic Acid um, because it's very thin. Mm -hmm. So that's your first step. And then second step, did I bring my hand cream? What's in my bag of tricks here? <laughs> Then you need any hand cream, any old hand cream, and a big tub of Vaseline. I've actually skipped ahead and have tried this trend. Unlike our other trends today, this trend actually requires a bit of time. You need to apply all your products before bed, sleep in them, and then the idea is revealing softer, smoother hands in the morning. So I've already done it. So here's some, um, some live footage from <laughs> past me. So my hands are now ready to give this Hand sucking a try. So I'm literally just gonna get a big old scoop and rub it over the top. So slimy then on goes the gloves, Six, seal in all that moisture, really let them just marinate. Oh my God, I can't turn the camera off because I'm wearing gloves. Oh my God, how do I do this? So how do your hands feel? Well, how do my hands feel? Soft, they do feel soft. Bear in mind, I will say, I have been sitting in the office air conditioning for a yeah. couple hours now. Mm. When I first woke up, 
um, I took my gloves off. I was actually also shocked that the gloves stayed on all night because <laughs> I, I was shocked that I hadn't sleep me, hadn't thrown them across the room or something. But when I first woke up and washed my hands, mm. they felt so soft wow, and they okay. looked really glowy. I mean, there's Ooh, a bit of glow. Yeah, I see a bit of glow. Maybe from the hyaluronic acid. Mm. It's impossible to do anything <laughs> yeah. after you've put the gloves on. In bed like this. I was like, Sam, can you turn my alarm on before bed? Um, the beauty editor who I saw doing this on TikTok, she had like visible dry hands yeah like you could see a bit of flaking or whatever and she mm. did it probably for three nights in a row Oh, okay I've done something similar for my feet you put moisturizer on and socks on before bed mm -hmm. but it takes a few can take a few nights to do it Home. I'm definitely gonna give that a go because I get really dry hands in winter So that is our four TikTok trends that we've tried. Are they worth the effort? Debatable. Um, but if you're someone that likes trying new beauty trends, um, those four are, are four safe, relatively safe <laughs> TikTok trends to try at home. Thanks for watching guys. If you've tried any of these TikTok trends, let us know in the comments below. I'm like realizing my buttons are yeah. like... <laughs> Clickety. Is that the one you wore at Fashion Week? It is. Someone so commented good. like you probably made $800,000 worth of stuff yeah. for this. Oh! Or get it. Or, or Fashion influencer. Yeah. <laughs>